Hello, 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 my dear student. This week we will be covering wave behavior and energy. The objectives of this lesson are communicate technical information about how some technology devices use the principles of wave behavior and wave interaction with matter to transmit and capture energy. Use mathematical representations to identify and describe the changes in wave that occur when the source of wave is in motion. Apply mathematical representation to the interaction of waves through constructive and destructive interference and the formation of standing waves. So, have you ever observed the change in frequency of the sound of a truck as it passes by? Give the name of the phenomena and describe it. This phenomena is called Doppler effect. What is the Doppler effect? Is the change in the apparent change in frequency due to the source of waves moving, the observer motion, or both? This is the equation that we will be using to solve the Doppler effect here. As you can see, Doppler effect can occur for sound waves, water waves, and even light waves. Now, we will discuss the meaning of each variable in our lesson. Stationary source, wavelength, and frequency are the same in all directions. But when the source is moving, air compressions are closer on one side and spread out on the other side. Now, when I talk about modeling wave interaction, we have in phase, we have out of phase. Wave interference occurs when two waves super as they meet while traveling in the same medium. Constructive interference is when the waves build up, produce a wave with a larger amplitude than destructive interference. Predict what the graph of the resultant wave of destructive interference look like. Yes. Here we have a destructive interference, total cancellation or a flat line result from total uh, cancellation. Destructive interference, they can cancel each other. Now let's look at the um, image here with three speakers. I need you to explain for why one person is covering their ears and the other person can't hear the music. The top person hears constructive interference and the music is too loud and the person at the bottom of the image is in an area of destructive interference and the music is too soft. Then we'll talk about beats. Beats are the pulsating sound produced when two sound waves with different frequency interact. Here is the equation that we will be using to solve beat frequency. And here is an example of that. We will predict the effect of alternating constructive and destructive interference on Sound, it produces a sound that alternates between soft and loud. Notice that beat frequency is always positive and therefore uh, so is the absolute value of the difference in frequency. Where on the graphs would you expect to correspond with loud versus soft sound? Yes, the area with highest amplitude is the area of loudness loudest sound, the result of constructive interference. Here we have soft sound destructive interference.
then we will be talking about standing waves. What is the definition of a standing wave? How to represent it using graphs? We will discuss waves on string. The equation of the frequency of standing wave, what each variable represent, and finally, transfer of wave energy. Water transfers energy to a floating duct. In a transverse wave, the velocity of the duct is perpendicular to the velocity of the wave. We'll discuss potential energy versus kinetic energy in each position here. And last but not least, energy in a wave. The energy is conserved at an interface such as the beach which since frequency and energy are constant, the amplitude must increase.